Caution is out in the studio. Caution is out in the studio and gone, back and gone. Guys, we are so, so sorry. Uh, we're having some major technical difficulties and do apologize so much for them. Um, network connection, unable to connect. <laughs> so we we do apologize. Um, it's man, it yeah. So we're basically on lap four of a hundred lapper, and it, it just sucks. So okay. So anyways, when it comes back down to it, um, you know, I, I talked to Kyle, and, and and Kyle was very very strong in in what he was, you know, what he was doing, you know, as a, as a race car driver the night before though. Want to, you know, he wanted to pack up and he wanted to go just because he didn't have a car that he knew that he was um, able to have, and and that's where it came down to. Um, but you know, I mean, like you know, like everybody else said, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, the check speaks for its word. <laughs> oh, if you could, hi Kenny, it was a great looking ride. Oh, we're trying so hard, man. I think I'm black flagged. So, uh, so that was Sunset Speedway. Hopefully, yeah. man, we can. Uh, <laughs> it's been God, a... hopefully we can try to get oh, this man. stuff going. Happy birthday, Josh! Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's been. I'm so ready man, to. I know. Trust me. I mean, I'm 61 it. minutes of craziness. Uh, and you know, let's talk Willamette. It was talk, a, let's a talk very. Willamette. It was a very odd week, considering that it's Memorial Weekend. Uh, typically one of the biggest races of the year on the Willamette Speedway schedule this year. Not the case. Um, one day show, two classes on hand. We had the Street Stock Division along with the Rolling Thunder Big Rig Series come to town. Um, How did and, that go? Uh, well, <laughs> interesting. Uh, interesting. It, it's a it's a whole different type of ball game when you put nine semis on a one third mile <laughs> dirt track. Um, uh, I didn't I'd think I would have loved just to have been there. Uh, I, I didn't think nine semis would fill up a racetrack the way those guys do, but when they stretch it out, that's a whole lot of vehicle on a racetrack. You so, know, three let's, wide. Let's, we saw some three wide with semis, which is it's it's. I'm telling you, it, it's just a strange <laughs> thing to watch. We saw these guys go bumper to bumper. I mean, it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty brutal racing. We saw some. I mean, to get a to spin a semi out, period. It, it, it just looks weird, but to see him doing traffic <laughs> and guys dodging, and we saw that. Um, it was a crazy race. It, so I mean, let's talk. Let's talk about something before you get way too into it, or whatever. Did the fire marshal come for a reason? Well, you know that is what I, I I've been told that he was there. Um, we had surprisingly, I uh, I guess when you advertise as hard as we did during the week, what you can do as far as packing the grandstands, there was not a single seat left at Willamette Speedway. We're talking capacity crowd, Josh. Capacity. Um, we had people parking their cars. The, the the parking lot was full. People are parking their cars down the road and walking down you know the highway to get into the track um we had people lining the outside the line went out into the parking lot from the gate you know how far that is oh yeah out into the parking lot <clears throat> waiting to get in unfortunately uh people got turned away there was uh wow I mean, yeah it was crazy it was crazy it was been a while since i've seen uh, a crowd like that but when you advertise as hard as willamette did throughout that week building up to that big rig show i think you're going to see that a lot um you know, you got a great product. You put it out for people to understand what's going on, and and we're seeing them do the same thing with the Strawberry Cup this week. Uh, big big show coming up. But back to last week, the uh, the semis, Rolling Thunder Big Rigs, crazy, black smoke blowing out the stacks. <laughs> um, you know, the thing about it is, I mean, truly, you see a ten thousand pound vehicle, as big as a semi. You know, they're they're running the the single axle. They're kind of cut down a little bit. But anything from a you know, a newer Kenworth to a 48 International. I mean, that we, we saw it. V6, V8. It was crazy. It was it was really weird. Uh, I'll I'll be honest. It was weird, but uh, it, overall, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. We talked with Mike Gibbons, the series director. Uh, here's a guy that's very passionate about what he does in these big rigs. You know, he started his deal up in Canada, kind of broke away from that series up there because he wanted to get a, a series that is strictly dirt. 
these guys don't mess with asphalt. That's a dirt track series. And See, that's awesome to me. They're heading from Willamette. They'll be in Skagit this Saturday. Um, Rick Case Bolt in a Seattle Seahawks themed number 12 of all things. Oh, yeah? His truck, yeah, pulled off the win, held off a hard charging Dustin Smith. Um, and, and Smith, late stages, thought he's going to turn him. Bump, <laughs> just put a bumper on him down the backstretch. I mean, just drove up and rear-ended him. Just hit him and said, come on, let's go. Let's finish this. Let's, you know, and, and, and Case Bolt says, all right, you know, you want to do it? Let's go. And he put the hammer and grabbed another gear and uh, he pulled off was the he, win. Was he in 12th by then? Uh, probably 14th. <laughs> I think he grabbed the splitter and got into it. Yeah, but, uh, you know, know, it was crazy. Uh, it, w- it was just it was just so weird to see. I, I, I mean, it was fun. But now you want to talk about the street stocks. That was, uh, I think, the definition of what racing is all about. Those guys, 20 street stocks, okay? Took the green flag. Um, early leader was Justin Evans in the old Coug. You know, we've talked about him a couple times this year on the show. He was, and if you go on Moxie Media, check out the in car camera. Over, I saw the in car I mean, camera. That was nice. Almost 2,000 hits in that video already. Nice. Um, it's been a popular video. And surprised to learn that Justin drives that car one handed. I mean, he's a left handed driver, drives the one hand, keeps the right hand down on the down by the seat, and just, you know, Let's a ride, but you know he had the early he lead. He looks smooth too. He, very, very. The car was working great. Um, he actually, we talked afterwards. The car was working great until the transmission decided it wanted to act all goofy and he couldn't get up on the gear and oh, unfortunately no. lost the transmission, gave up the lead, and that <clears throat> turned the top position over to Andrew Langan in the 74 and Chris Sign in the 24. Two drivers out of Cottage Grove. Signed the defending champion at Grove. Uh, he's going to spend a lot of his season up here at Willamette. Well, that's good. Him and Lang and Wentz. I mean, these guys now, they're friends. These guys towed in together. They're buddies. You know, they were helping each other out in their cars. They got up front, and they went at it. When I say went at it, these guys, I mean, friends off the racetrack. <laughs> you Enemies. never know by watching that race that those guys are anywhere remote to friends. I mean, a lot of respect between the two on the track, right. but these guys went at it. It was like a heavyweight title fight. I mean, these guys <laughs> did not pull punches. Sign made a move late stages, you know, got by Langham at a turn four on the bottom. Langham was right there in the 74, sat back for a couple laps, set sign up out of turn four, just a few laps to go, returned the favor. Same spot, Chris signed past him uh, and crossed the stripe ahead of time. Uh, track condition was, and this is where I think these two drivers had the advantage. I mean, those are high horsepower cars that Sign and Langen bring to the track, and they use every bit of it. I mean, the track, you could go down and victory lane and plant your foot on the track and you, I mean, you try to turn, you're gonna bust your ankle. It was so just did the trucks did the trucks make that track you know any worse or any better? You know they. It went a little rough, but, I mean, overall, the track was really, really good. Good deal. You know, it, they didn't tear it up like I thought they would. But uh, at the same time, <clears throat> these guys, I mean, put on one heck of a show for the fans. And Mark Gaylord was right there in the mix. You know, I mean, he's been fast all year. We've seen, I mean, it was just a good street stock feature. I mean, the fans loved it. And I, we could see that every week. Man, I, I'd never leave the racetrack. I wouldn't go <laughs> home. You know, it was just one of those deals that was like, wow. that That's, that's a good intent. That racing. was worth the entry alone right there. That's that's good racing. You know, it's uh, to have our double show up there and to watch those Street Sucks guys. And I, I mean, I like, you know, all of our classes and everything, but that it goes back to that Street Sucks stuff is that these guys, you know, will race door handle, door handle all the way back to 8th, ninth, 10th. Well, and that's the thing. We we saw, you know, the 74 and the 24, Langan and Sign up front just, I mean, doing their thing. And behind them was a pack of cars that, I mean, you Second to sixth, nobody really got away from each other. They stayed in that pack and just battled. And I mean, it was, it's what race fans want to see. It right. was real racing. It was just hardcore, you know, I mean, sixth to second, back to third, and two laps and just, I mean, swapping spots. And these guys were just duking it out. And it was just, it was an awesome deal. It was just phenomenal driving by everybody on the track from top to bottom. Let me tell you something funny. I mean, this is something that happened. So we had, I, I told you 20 cars. Took the green flag. Okay. This is, I, I'm, I'm up in the tower and we're getting ready to go green. And Warren, my pit correspondent there from right. Oxy at Willamette, comes across and says, Hey, we just had a late arrival uh, come into the track. Uh, number 13 is going to start in the back of the pack. And I said, 13. I'm thinking Mikey Brakeall just right. showed up to run, you know, late arrival, you know, unload and go to the feature. 
No, that's not the case. Tony Brakeall, sitting at home, can hear the engine. He didn't show up to race. He's like, you know what? We're not running late. Models are modified. I'm going to go to the shop and get my daughter's car and take it to the track. <laughs> no way. No, no. He, he took it to the track. He drove the car to the track, left the shop in the street stock, drove down the road to the track. Wait, started. wait. He drove six blocks <laughs> down the main dra- L- Unloaded. It, uh, took the car to the shop, drove it to the track. <laughs> Got to the track. Now listen to this. This is, I mean, gets to the track, sets the air pressure before he leaves the before he leaves the shop. No. Pulls in, starts scratch on the field, starts twentieth. Hold on, wait, wait. He's got his suit, helmet, everything ready to go. Pulls in, starts scratch, lines up at the back of the field. I mean, made it within minutes. Okay. <laughs> now listen, listen. Hold on a second, because we're gonna. Oh my. Listen to this. That is awesome. I'm not kidding you when I say this. This is what he does. He starts twentieth, takes the green flag, and starts passing cars. I'm thinking, all right, Tony, he's moving pretty good, moving pretty good. <laughs> We're right at the halfway point, and break all sitting forth. <laughs> I'm going, what Are is you going kidding on? Me? No kidding. I'm in no track time. You know, he, heats have been ran. He just moves up to fourth, got into a battle with Gaylord. They're running, you know, running for the third and fourth position. You know, break all trying to, you know, he'll run just as hard as anybody else. He's trying to get by, <laughs> trying to get by Gaylord. Gaylord's now, you know, running the middle groove. Tony tries the high side, a little bit of contact. Tony car, you know, Tony's car touches touches the wall and it grabbed the the right front and pulled the toe out. I mean, he said it was towed out about three inches. Oh, it had his hand full, so oh. he just just pulled it off. But he went from twentieth to you know, arguably no, no, third. no. He went from the shot to twentieth yeah, yeah, yeah. from twentieth to fourth. Yeah, I mean, who? No trailer, no nothing. nothing. Just pulled her in, set the pressure to the shop, and said, "Let's go race." And then drove six blocks to the racetrack, and I. Wow. Could you could you imagine I'm trying not okay. to laugh as I'm introducing it. You know, could thinking, you imagine just watching him so you're up in the Moxie Tower and you look to your left and you see this race car down the main drag, turn in <laughs> to where everybody you know, where the spectator stuff turn in, right come in, right. pay for his entry fee. Right. Come through the gravel. <laughs> I, see come now, okay. through the gravel right. around turn one and two to the hot pits and say, I'm here to race. Hey, that's what he did. Now listen. <laughs> now listen, listen, Tony. I'm not laughing no at you, buddy. Way. I'm laughing with you. There's two guys at Willamette Speedway. I know that would do this. That okay? is the most. That is the coolest thing you, I've you, ever heard. There's two people at that track that that would not absolutely would not surprise me. I, I mean, as cool and as funny as it is, the other driver, JJ Irvine. I mean, uh, JJ's done the same thing, and he drove a whole lot farther than Tony did. JJ. And this is, goes back to, you know, this is what a racer does. Right. Drove his car to the track a few years ago and got pulled over in the process. Okay. No ticket issued. No ticket issued. Get to the car of the track. Go racing. <laughs> you know, so, no. Hey, absolutely. I'm, this, it's Did not a joke. Did he get a police escort? No. But that he, been even he, he let him go to the track. But, you know, I mean, I'm not kidding you. There's, those are the only two drivers at that racetrack that could pull that off and not surprise me. You know, that I mean, actually. the funniest thing I've heard. All month long. It was awesome. It, it was just – it's a cool thing. But let's kind of th- – th- this whole thing last week with the big rigs and the street stocks, I got to tell you what my personal feelings are, the highlight of the night, okay? Didn't have a lot of time – I didn't have a lot of cars. Obviously, we had nine trucks and, and 20 street stocks. Right. So we got to talking about how to fill some time. Chris Knobziger and myself um, and Jeremy Means and the idea of a grudge match comes to light. You know, idea, grudge match. Hey, look. We're going to do a grudge match between the Roberts team. Kevin Roberts, Talon Roberts, father Uh-oh. versus daughter. Full house. Okay. Oh, now, now is, this, is this what happened to her motor? Now, check that out. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Because this is one of those nights where. A couple of things here. I'm in the pits. I, I take the idea to, to Kevin and 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 Talon. Say, hey, look, grudge match. What do you guys think of the idea? Oh yeah, great. You know, and I said, well, you know, listen, we've got a lot of time here. Let me take this idea to Chris. Let's go two out of three. You know, let's go old 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 school and do a uh, two three, out of three. Three laps. No, we're gonna go four laps. Four. Two out of three. You know, you gotta <laughs> win two to, to to be titled grudge match winner. Uh-huh. Okay, so. Kevin says, you know what? I'll do whatever Talon wants to do. This is all on her. Oh, you know, she's on it. She she wants to go two out of three. We'll do it. She wants to do one five lapper, whatever. I'm in. Let's just do this. You know, they were both excited. Oh, this yeah. is a cool deal for them, right? So I look at Talon. I said, Talon, it's on you. What do you want to do, kid? She says, 
Let's go two out of three.